and you can see the state of the old one just completely broken up so it's a really good job to be able to replace and here is the new one that's the part number compare the old and the new so we've now got complete rubber it feels almost like it's slightly thicker um, certainly it's not brittle like the old one so it would be a good good replacement good thing to get done I was considering getting a second hand one um, which was looking to be about £60 but the brand new one from Porsche was 100 and I thought if I get a second hand one the rubber will be the same age pretty much as the one that's coming out so it's going to be just as brittle I might as well get a new one and make sure it's a part that's going to last another 20 years so I've just removed the rear rubber wall um, it was actually a lot simpler than I was expecting um, the top part is only held on by two um, clips and you need to push out the centre part and there's one on each side just right on the edge the bottom part is held on by a series of clips and these are on the underside and they come through in these positions so we've got one there, one there, one there there's actually one behind the fan which I managed to pop off without taking the fan off but you may need to remove this housing to get to it and then you can see the other ones so there's a total of eight that just need to be popped off I bought new ones because I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to reuse them um, and it cost me a couple of pounds so it's, it's very very cheap you just need to move the two metal bars that sit on top of the rubber and move them on from the old one to the new one and then we can refit so the top one actually slides into place you'll see that there are these pins that locate in the top of the spoiler and those just need to be pushed along to get them into uh, into place and then I've bought new plastic clips rather than trying to reuse the old ones I thought initially it would be easier to do the top edge and then fit the bottom on um, on trying this the rubber new rubber is so bouncy and springy compared to the old one that has perished um, it was proving quite difficult to get the bottom side in um, without access to the back so what I've done is taking it back off again and I'm going to put the bottom clip on first and then we can put the top top one on um, which should be somewhat easier so this is the metal bar that sits in there with the pins that will push through into the spoiler lid into the boot lid so the bottom edge is now in place pushed these pins through and put the new clips on top um, to replace the clip on the one behind the fan I am going to need to remove it um, and it looks like those are 13mm bolts so there's three of them I'm just going to undo those to get to that final one once that's done it's a case of putting the metal bar on the top edge and this will then clip in just put the top section in um, it slides to the left to clip into place and then you just need to make sure that the hole in the rubber lines up with the hole in the metal here you then have the plastic clips just to go in to hold that in place um, I actually found it would probably be easier having two people to do this it's not a difficult job but trying to make sure all of the clips line up at the same time over the length of the spoiler um, it was it was quite tricky trying to make sure they're all in place so having one person to hold one end and push them all in together would probably be easier the final stage is to put these pins in 
um, and push the centers through which will clip it in place so just need to do that on both sides I've just removed the three 10 millimeter bolts from the fan just to give access to this final one and that's now in place so you can see all eight of them and just go put the fan back and that's the job done and we now have a nice complete bellows on the spoiler no more flapping around and holes and you can see the state of the old ones completely completely shot pieces so that will be going in the bin if you need the part number for the new piece it is this one which is for the bellows and for the clips the eight clips that hold the spoiler rubber in place it's this number